Hi, I just took a bunch of pictures on my camera that I'm loading onto my laptop. My name is Jathan Yasreen. I work on the Windows team at Microsoft. And during the next few minutes, I'm going to show you how you can use your pictures to make a photo slideshow right on your desktop. You might be familiar with screen saver slideshows, which only run when you're not using your computer. But in Windows 7, you can create a slideshow that appears on the desktop background, or what some people like to call the wallpaper. Great, I finished downloading my pictures to my pictures library, so now we can get started. To begin with, let's look at one of the desktop slideshows that comes with Windows 7, and then I'll show you how you can create your own. First, I'll right-click the desktop and then click Personalize. This is personalization, where you can choose a theme. Each theme has its own slideshow. You have a number of themes to choose from here. First, I'm going to choose the Nature theme. Then, I'm going to go to the desktop background and change how frequently the desktop picture changes. As you can see, the pictures associated with the Nature theme have check marks in their corners, which tells me that these pictures are part of my slideshow. For now, I'm going to set a new picture to appear every 10 seconds so I can see how all the pictures look without having to wait. I can easily change that later. Once you choose a theme, the slideshow begins automatically. Here's what the nature slideshow looks like. There are some nice shots, but I'd rather make my own theme using the photos I added to my pictures library. To create a new slideshow, we'll return to desktop background. I imported my pictures into the pictures library, so I'm going to choose a group of pictures from my slideshow from there. But I could also click browse and search for my pictures wherever they might be. It's important to remember all the pictures you want to use in your slideshow must be in the same folder. Since my pictures are in the pictures library, there shouldn't be a problem. Windows automatically selects all the pictures in the folder to be part of the slideshow, but I only want some of them to be part of the slideshow, so I'm going to clear the checkbox for each picture that I don't want to appear. Now I'll choose how I want the pictures to appear. For example, I can choose whether I want the pictures to fill the frame or maintain their original dimensions, how quickly or slowly I want to cycle through the pictures, and then finally, whether they display in random order or in the order in which they appear in the pictures library. I'm going with shuffle. Now that I've selected the pictures that I want from my slideshow, I'm ready to save those changes. When you save changes to a slideshow, Windows automatically creates a new unsaved theme. I'm going to rename my new theme so I can easily identify it. OK, let's close personalization and take a look at my new desktop background slideshow. Pretty cool, huh? And you can create as many slideshows as you'd like to match whatever mood you're in. You can change them or even turn them off. But once you try desktop slideshows, you might never want to go back.